Welcome to the Timberland Park in Franklin, Tennessee. My name is Matt Bogosian and I'm going to show you around today. Timberland Park is located just south of Highway 96 off of the Natchez Trace Parkway. Come on, let's go check it out. Before I get into all the features the park has, I want to talk about its history. The land here at the park was originally owned and logged by local families. The lumber was used to build homes right here in Franklin, Tennessee. In 1975, the land was sold to the state of Tennessee. The state had plans to build a folk art center on the property, but those plans never panned out. At that point, the property was labeled as surplus and the state put the property up for auction. In 1999, Williamson County was able to acquire the property after more than a year of negotiations. The development of the park into what it is today took over two decades. A master plan was developed, which included this environmentally sustainable interpretive center behind me, along with walking trails. The 2,000 square foot interpretive center is open daily. All right, before I take you on a quick hike, let me tell you everything that this park has to offer. So as far as amenities, the park offers the interpretive center with the informational and educational educational displays, hiking trails, a beautiful overlook, a butterfly garden, restrooms, picnic tables, and ADA accessible trails. The park is also RV accessible, although it does not have a dump station on site. All right, let's go check out these trails. Okay, so I decided to enter in over by the kiosk, not by the interpretive center so this is kind of like a main connector type road that takes you to um, a little intersection down here and then you can choose a trail and be on your way one thing i do like about the trails here and i think you'll like this too they're not that hard and there are just little loops, like a half mile, quarter of a mile, and it brings you back to a spot. So I think in total, if you do them all, maybe it's like four miles. And of course you can do them several times if you wanna get more mileage out. I did notice on the map too, there's a private trail that goes off. Um, one of the trails here that you can take and I think that's a couple more miles so all right so here's our first connector to the right we've got the ravine ridge Inman hollow east perimeter trail nice little bench right there and I think we're gonna go left right here so this right here takes us Still Hollow Trail, Ravine Ridge West. Let's do the Still Hollow Trail. So, as you guys can see, it is absolutely beautiful out here. The leaves are starting to fall. The air is crisp. It's a really nice time to uh, get out here for a hike. Let me just show you guys what I'm looking at. Oh, there's a cool little bird feeder down there. All right, sorry, my camera skills. Kind of show you a little pan of the woods. That's where I came from over there, so. Whoop. Carrying on. I hear some people coming. Still Hollow Trail to the right. All right, so we're heading downhill, little steps right here. That's cool. I can handle that. <clears throat> so, the reason that I make videos like this for you guys is, <clears throat> here's my thought process. If you live here in the Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Tennessee, Middle Tennessee area, 
and you don't get out that often and you're wondering what things you can do, hopefully my videos inspire you to get out, enjoy nature, and see some new things. And then secondly, if you don't live here and you're just curious what it's like and what things you can do and what the community's like and where you can take the family. Hopefully these videos help you with that too. And then lastly, I just like making videos. It's kind of a challenge for me, the editing process, trying to get the filming all down correctly a lot harder than you think and I've just got so much to learn it's it's fun for me so that's the third reason I am pretty confident that you can take kids here I would probably be fine taking my two boys and they are five and nine he's eight but he's about to turn nine so that's actually pretty cool so this is a great place in my opinion already just from what I've done this is uh, definitely going to be a good place to take the family I think that's important to a lot of us because some of these trails are so dang long and so hard you just can't take your kids because they're gonna whine and complain Quite a bit of exploring you can do out here. There's a map on their website. So, I, I think it's pretty hard to get lost here. I'm gonna try this trail. We have got the West Perimeter Trail. So, cool, let's give that one a shot. Not sure how long this one is, but it's okay. We're only about 13 minutes in. Oh, I can tell I already like this trail. Really cool. So this trail seems a little bit, I mean, it's not hard, but you know, there's some elevation, we're going back up. Tons of two, just so you guys can see, tons of little bench areas for you to sit. I've seen several of them out here. Sit, if you wanna read a book, or just rest. Maybe you have weak little legs and you just can't hang. Right here, we're coming up to the overlook. Really neat. Judy Hayes Trail. All right. Yeah. So the overlook should be, yeah it is, it's part of the ADA accessible trail. So you see, it's got like this gravel right here. So this is called the Phyllis Huffman Overlook. Let me step back and try to get a, here we go. So here's the ADA trail. So really neat. I love that they do that. Someone in a wheelchair now can come out here. They can go all the way into the overlook and just get a chance to enjoy nature like the rest of us do. More benches. 
All right, so this will put us out back at the parking lot. So a cool little spot, handicapped accessible. Oh, and here's the picnic tables. That's a really nice spot. If you want to bring the family and have some lunch, let me. All right, so now we are, oh, sorry about that. All right, so now we are cruising back out. And this takes us out to the parking lot. <clears throat> All right, guys, I want to make sure that I conclude this video. My battery looks like it's about to die. Once again, my name's Matt Bogosian. I'm with Kern Company Realty. We are at Timberland Park in Franklin, Tennessee. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about the park. I encourage you, if you live here in the Franklin area or Nashville area, come check out this park. Go for a hike, see what it has to offer. And if you're thinking about moving here, this is just another reason that you need to consider coming to Franklin, Tennessee. They've got some great parks and ways for you to get outdoors and enjoy outdoor activities. All right, once again, my name's Matt Bogosian. I'm with Curran Company Realty. I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.